Imagine typing just one simple idea, and within minutes, watching it turn into a full short film. In this video, I'm going to show you an amazing AI tool that takes your story idea and turns it into a complete video, with characters, scenes, and animations, all done for you. You'll learn step-by-step -step how to create a short film using just one prompt, and I'll also show you how to customize characters, animate scenes, and even give you the exact prompts to use in ChatGPT to create the perfect script and character designs. So, if you're wondering how creators are making stunning short films using nothing but AI, stick around. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to do it too. The tool we'll be using today is called Catalyst AI. What makes this tool really amazing is that you can give it just a simple prompt, and it will automatically generate the script, the scene images, and even the full video, using characters that stay consistent throughout the story. To get started, simply click on the link in the description and sign up using your Gmail account. After signing up, you'll be taken to the main interface. This is where all the magic happens. On the main screen, you'll see three main options. First, you can generate a video from an idea or a script. Second, you can start completely from scratch and build your video step-by-step -step by clicking here. Third, you can create your own preset template. There are also many pre-made templates you can use to create your story. These include styles like anime, cartoon, film, kids, and more. For this demo, I'm going to choose a preset from the film category to create our story. Once you click on that, you'll see two options. The first option lets you upload or paste your own written script. The second option allows you to type a simple story topic, and the AI will generate an entire story for you. Let's try the second option first. This is the prompt section. Here, you just type in a basic idea. It doesn't need to be complicated. Even a simple prompt works well. For this demo, I'll use a sample prompt. Next, you can choose how many scenes you want in your story. The more scenes you select, the more detailed and longer your story will be. Once that's done, click on Generate Script. Now just wait for a moment while the AI works in the background. After a short while, you'll see that Catalyst has created a complete, scene-by-scene -scene script for your story based on the prompt. You can now go through each scene one by one. If you want to make any changes, just click the pencil icon to edit that scene. And if there's a scene you don't want to include, simply uncheck the box beside it, and it won't be added to your final story. Next, click here to choose the aspect ratio for your video. Since I'm making this for YouTube, I'll keep it at 16 to 9, which is the standard widescreen format. After you've finished editing and reviewing your script, click Next. Now you'll be asked to select the style of your video. There are lots of styles to choose from here. I'm going with cinematic, but feel free to pick any style you like, then click Next. Now we move on to the character selection. Catalyst AI has already generated characters for us based on the script. You can choose to keep these characters as they are, or if you want to customize them, click on the edit button. In the editing section, you can change how your characters look. There are many options to adjust their appearance. If you're not happy with the default ones, you can even create a new character from scratch. Just click on this option, type a prompt for the kind of character you want, and you can even upload reference face images. For this example, I'll go ahead and use the default character. Once you're ready, click Create Project, and Catalyst will automatically start generating the images for each scene based on your script. And here's the result. You'll see that Catalyst has created all the scenes with high-quality images, and best of all, the characters look consistent across the whole video. You can still do a lot of editing here. If you want to add a new scene, just move your cursor between two scenes and click the plus icon. Then type in a prompt, and the AI will generate an image for that new scene. Now, if you don't like how any scene looks, don't worry. You can easily edit it. First, just click on the edit button on the scene you want to change. This will open that specific scene in the editor. Here, you can see the original prompt that was used to generate the image. If you want to change the image, simply type a new prompt in this box and click to create a new scene image. You can also change the background here. Either pick one from the available options or create your own background. Next, you'll see many different shot styles. Pick the one that fits your scene best. For change the camera angle, click here and select one. And finally, choose how many image variations you want and hit generate. Here are the two results. Look how amazing they turned out. Just select the one you like best and click save. Now let me show you one of the best and most unique features of Catalyst AI. First one, adjusting the character's posture. To do this, click on this icon, and the AI will analyze the character pose for you. Once that's done, you'll see a skeleton-like structure on your character. From here, you can change the pose however you want. Just double-click on any of the nodes, then drag and move them to adjust the character's position. For this image, I want to slightly change the movement of the character's hand, so I'll move this node, and then click Generate again. Here's the output. 
See how the AI has perfectly adjusted the character's pose based on the changes? Pretty cool, right? Next, you can also crop the image if you want. Just click here and adjust it the way you like. Another amazing feature is the ability to add elements using AI. Just click on the brush tool, then brush over the part of the image where you want to add something. After that, type in what you want to add in the prompt box, choose how many image versions you want, and click Generate. Here's the result. You can see that the new element blends beautifully into the image. And if you want, you can even upload your own image into the scene. Once you're happy with your changes, click Save, and that scene will be updated. Now, follow these same steps to edit all the scenes according to your style. You can add scenes, remove the ones you don't need, and edit them however you like. Next, let's talk about animating these images. There are two ways to do it. The first option is to animate one image at a time. Just click on any image, go to the video section by clicking here, then type your animation prompt in the box. Next, select the AI video model you want to use. There are many popular ones like Runway, Kling, Pixverse, and more. Then choose the video duration and click Generate. The second option, and probably the easiest, is to animate all the images at once. To do that, click on Timeline. Here, you'll see all your generated images along with voiceovers and background music. Everything is laid out clearly, and you can easily edit each part. To add voice and music, click here. You can either type a text or upload an audio file. In the Text to Speech section, you can add dialogues for your characters by selecting the character and typing a text. It will automatically generate the audio, and you can drag it onto the timeline. Now, to animate all images together, just click Generate All Videos. Then choose your preferred video generation model and click Generate Videos. Then AI will start creating animations for every scene. It might take a few minutes, but it's much faster than other tools out there. And the best part is, it animates everything in one click. Once it's done, you can trim the video and adjust it to match your voiceover perfectly. If there's any clip you want to redo, just click the pencil icon. In Editor, you'll see the prompt used to generate that clip, and you can update or change it as needed before regenerating. Finally, once you're happy with everything, just click the Export button. You'll see a few export options. Choose the video option and export your final project. And that's it. Here's how the final video looks. In the golden light of dawn, the harbor surges with life, rumors of fortune and peril swirling in the salty air. Today feels different. The sea is whispering secrets, can you hear it? Every step on this deck draws us closer to the unknown. Adventure waits beyond the horizon. The night erupts with laughter and clinking mugs, dreams of treasure fueling every heart. Keep your voice down, Silas. The map's real, if you've the nerve to follow. That looks stunning, right? The camera movements feel just like a real cinematic movie. Now, let me show you how to create a story using a fully detailed custom script. To write our story, we'll be using ChatGPT. So first, go to our Discord server or Telegram channel and copy the first prompt. This prompt will help you generate 10 scary story ideas. Paste that prompt into ChatGPT. Now, it will give you a list of 10 different spooky and creative story ideas. Read through them and choose the one you like best. Once you've chosen your favorite idea, copy the second prompt from our Discord. Then go back to ChatGPT, paste the new prompt, and also paste your chosen story idea into it. This second prompt will help ChatGPT generate a complete story, broken down scene by scene, which makes it perfect for creating in Catalyst AI. After ChatGPT gives you the full story in scene format, ask it to convert the story into a CSV file so you can download it easily onto your computer. Next, go back to Catalyst AI. Now, you can either upload your script file here or simply copy and paste the scenes directly into this section. I'll be uploading the script that I created earlier using ChatGPT. Once imported, our script will look like this. Now, click on Next and then choose your preferred visual style. In the next step, we're going to create custom characters instead of using the default ones. So now, go to our Discord server again and copy the special character design prompt. Next, scroll to the bottom of the script that ChatGPT gave you and paste this character prompt under it. This will help generate a visual appearance description for every character in your story. First, copy the appearance description for Mia from the ChatGPT output. Then, head back into Catalyst AI. Find the Mia character in your project and click on the Edit button. Next, click Character Appearance and then choose Create from Scratch. In the description box, paste the character details you got from ChatGPT and click Generate Preview. Once you're happy with how it looks, click Save. Now, repeat this same process for every character in your story. Once that's done, 
Click Create Project. Catalyst AI will now begin generating all the images for your story, with consistent character designs across every scene. Next, go to the timeline and click Generate All Videos to animate your scenes. And here it is, the final result. Have you ever wondered what hides behind your own reflection? Tonight, they're about to find out. Guys, it says only the brave play alone. Do we really want to do this? If the mirror blinks first, run! Looks incredible, doesn't it? Seriously, with this tool, you can create amazing AI-generated videos just like this and even earn money on platforms like YouTube. You can make all types of content. Movie trailers, historical adventures, horror stories, or even fun videos for kids. You don't need to jump between different tools to create scripts, images, and videos. Everything can be done in one place, right here inside Catalyst AI. You can try it today using the link in the description below. They offer a 7-day free trial, which gives you unlimited access to all their features during the trial period. And if you enjoy using Catalyst AI and want to unlock everything, you can upgrade to a paid plan starting at just $29 per month. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you need any help, feel free to join our Discord or Telegram group. It's the perfect place to ask questions, share your creations, and connect with other creators who can help you make even better videos. Plus, you'll find all the AI tools and the exact prompts we used in this tutorial, so you can try them out yourself. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications notifications so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.